three minutes to go. Wood, McLemore, Mason Jones. Houston assisted on 10 of their 12 makes in the first quarter. What do they say? The ball's not sticking, right? Third quarter. Off the turnover. DeMar DeRozan on the break. Remember Keldon Johnson, second year man out of Kentucky? He was electric in this one. He had 29 points on 12 of 16 shooting. Less than a minute later, it's Jones to a cutting Kenyon Martin Jr., just like Daddy used to did, right? Great athleticism. Oh, so old. And you know what? Wall's loving it, or he's loving the fact that you know who is gone. Just over three minutes to go in the third. There's Johnson again, one of two threes. Again, a career high 29. Just over three minutes to go. Christian Wood. Hang on to that rookie card, John. Yep. He had three blocks, 27 points, 15 rebounds. Look at the big fella run the floor. Clean up that mess. Rockets bench. Love it every minute of it. This game is tied at 101. Under two minutes to go. Houston leading by two. It's Brown in transition. Spin cycle once. Acrobatic layup here at 23. Houston led by four. Spurs down two, closing seconds. DeMar to Rosen to tie it up. No! And the first game of the James Harden era ends with a win. 109-105. Rockets taken. Moving on from James Harden. No problem, right? Rockets were outscored by the Spurs 19-6 in the final four and a half minutes. Flipping a nine-point deficit into a four-point win. Houston's first road win of the season and first again of the James Harden, a uh, post-James Harden era. So the Heat took a peek at Harden, and the Sixers a little longer look, but neither one of them have him now, so they just tossed it up regular like Joel Embiid. Huge game last time out against the Heat, 45.16 rebounds. Embiid working pick and roll. Uh, Chris Silva, we, you'll get nothing right there, and you'll have to like it. First half, not great. Two of five. I have that as less huge. Yes. Yeah. Nine points total for the game. Better first half from Shake Milton. Working on Tyler Hero. That's my handle. There we go. Corral it. Like at no point where I, was I giving that ball up. None. The shot goes up and it goes down. Uh, I don't know if that play was called for me, but if, it seems like I'm going to stay with it right till the end. Although, in his defense, shot clock, game clock dying at that point. Milton stealing the other end. I'm not sure that was a travel or a foul, but still, it's in 50-39. They all—they're in the scorebook. That seems more traditional. Pass, catch, shoot. Nope, got a big members bounce on that one. Uh, no swishes here. Milton's 19 points in the first half, tied for his most in a game off the bench in his career. He finished with 31. Sixers are up 15 at the half. Ben Simmons—he uh, was not traded. He is not in a deal for James Harden. Where's the former Bucks great Tobias Harris right there? Leaves it for him. Simmons a triple double. 10 points, 10 rebounds, 12 assists. Kind of bare minimum stuff, but controlled the game from his position. Sixers are going to win 125 to 108. They're 9 and 4 there for Doc now. Dude's 24 years old, been around a while. He has a bejeweled necklace with a kangaroo. I don't know if you've nice. ever seen it. Never. It's my favorite piece of jewelry in the whole NBA. Simmons becomes the fourth player in NBA history to record 30 triple doubles before turning 25. Yeah, he's got clear till July to become 25. Not sure he's going to get up to Oscar, but, you know, regardless of age, 30 triple doubles, second in franchise history behind Wilt Chamberlain. Let's switch up. Let's go to college basketball. Gonzaga, Pepperdine, each number one in its own way. Zags, basketball, Malibu, location, location, location. Uh, the Zags have won 39 in a row against the Wave. Not much of a Wave, really. Pepperdine's first game in three weeks. Cedric Altman, floater in the lane. Nice. Dines up one. Jalen Suggs diving, loose ball, kick it around. Andrew Nemhard finds Suggs underneath. That's an easy layup. Good ball movement, good hustle there. Get on the ground. Corey Kispert's going to get involved here. He's going to hit a three. He had 11 in the first half. Zags by four at the half. Pause now as Kevin gives the halftime report. <laughs> Thank you. Second half, Zags up six. How'd that go? You guys do all right? Barnum was great. Dallin, of course, great always. Excellent. Uh, other end of the floor, Aaron Cook. Kispert lays it in. He had 23 in the night. Zags up nine. Coach Few, the many, the proud. Look at that fancy Suggs behind the back. We like that. That was after the halftime report. Zags up 15. Suggs had 18. 
Then our boy Joel Ayayi. Yeah. In your eye. Bottoms up from there. 95 75. That's 40 in a row. Lock them up. We'll play them again tomorrow. Uh, pro game Hornets Raptors Toronto just two and eight all road games except for the home games that they play in Tampa where what but 45 left in the fourth Hornets down five well a ball the steal finds Terry Rogier scary Terry comes through then Pal Lowry Chris Boucher for the dunk so it's back to a five point margin back down the other way Hornets Devontae Graham's pass swatted away ball picks up he's all up in there with two hands he's super bouncy he ought to be young and athletic. Pascal Siakam gives up to Boucher, blocked by P.J. Washington. We're going to go ahead and call that Raptors ball. I don't know if we went to the bar on that as we look at it again. Last chance for the Hornets, Washington. Wide open three, Graham's last second heave, that's less wide open.